I knew a woman who got in an accident in an elevator. She hadn't taken any drugs. But in this accident, she was pinned with her leg caught in the mechanism, and she was there for half an hour before anybody could get to her rescue. She was having agonies. But she knew that she simply had to wait. There was nothing to do about it, so she completely accepted her situation. And she said that in that time, she realized, as to put it in her, her own words, there is not a single grain of dust in this whole universe that is out of place. In other words, that peculiar, painful, unwanted situation was somehow made acceptable and all right because it fitted in to a harmonious arrangement which involved everything that was happening, that had happened, or that ever would happen. And whether you approve of this kind of experience or not, whether you think it's rational or not, it keeps happening spontaneously, through discipline, or as a consequence of chemical agencies to thousands of people. And it is, of course, one of the generating forces in the things we call the great religions of the world. Obviously, Jesus Christ uh, had an experience of this kind, which uh, brought him to the feeling that he, as uh, a living organism, was an expression of what he called in the language available to him, God the Father. I and the Father are one. He who has seen me has seen the Father. That was an absolutely unacceptable pronouncement to his contemporaries, and so he got crucified. We are, I hope, a more tolerant age and we are, I think, really in need of experiencing the relationship of the individual to the physical world in a way that is more positive, more constructive, more friendly, more close than that which expresses itself in a hostile technology bent on the domination and the conquest of nature considered as something alien to the human spirit, mechanical, thoughtless and stupid, that surrounds us as uh, the mere featureless energy behind the galaxies. If indeed it were possible for many of us to have a sensation of not just uh, merely belonging in this world, but being it. If we could feel that our separate individuality is a coming and going expression of what it is that is happening through all the cycles of time and generations of cosmoses, we'd be able to cool it a bit and not be so frantic in our pursuit of survival. It might be a very good thing. And that's simply giving an explanation of why I personally have been interested in exploring the psychology and the conditions of this kind of experience for so many years.